Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the National News from BGI TV. Baba Bagirimo TV. I am Sanu Tolakumi Ajikade. First year, the major headlines for the National News. Buhari seeks strongest action against killer. Bajabi Amila deceived us all of strike. CCN Workers Drag Project Coordinator to EFCC over alleged corruption. Abducted Sanfara LCDA balls killed by bandits. Kidnapped Anambra vigilante leader pays 5 million naira ransom to regain freedom. Attacked again. And lastly, on sports. Osime has improved on the spallet. Now hear the news in details. President Muhammad Buhari yesterday directed the police to take the strongest possible action against the official involved in the killing of Mrs. Omobolali Rahim, the lawyer who has allegedly shot dead by an assistant superman of police on Christmas Day in Lagos State. Buhari, in a statement by his senior special assistant on media and publicity, Malang Gaba Sheo, also assured that the family and colleagues of the deceased lawyer that justice will be served in the matter. The president described the killing of Mrs. Rahim as heroin and senseless. Also noted that it was a wake-up call to law enforcement agencies to ensure that the implementation of all reforms introduced by the administration to better service delivery by agencies, especially on weapons handling and citizen rights. President Muhammad Dubari saw this incident as a spark reminder of the recurring maintenance of the mishandling of weapons and wake up all to law enforcement agencies. The Academic Star Union of Universities has accused the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gajabi Amela, of deception by asking the Union to call off its eight month old strike in October with a written promise that the government would meet without delay offset in full of arrears of salaries members were owned. President of the Union, Professor Emmanuel Oshodeke, gave this position on Tuesday in an exclusive interview with Tribune Online when he was asked to reflect on the speaker's intervention and then the vice versa on the current situation of their issues with the federal government. He said as well as a soft fault by the speaker and was not why the union engaged in the discussion as a welcome intervention to resolve this lengthening between it and the federal government. He said that Abiy Amila even presented a paper signed by him to ask the leadership, including the seriousness of the government to pay the full eight month salaries to his members were owned and also directly attended to some other parts and specify how addressed them. Some work of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, CCN, has dragged the company's general manager, project coordinator, engineer Joseph al Majiri to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over corruption allegations and abuse of power against him. The workers took the actions in a fresh petition written on their behalf by one engineer, David Ivea, requesting the Anti-Crimes Commission to look at the earlier petition they wrote against al on July 27, 2022 and October 24, 2022, which were submitted to the Minister of Power. They bordered on al corruption activities and the attempt to violate the Electric Power Sector Reform Act 2005. The workers' fresh position seeking EFCC involvement in the matter was dated November 38, 2022, exclusively obtained by Daily Independent Employee Commission to thoroughly look at the petition and take necessary action because the Electricity Power Sector Reform Act establishing the transmission company of Nigeria is clear. Tanibu Yanwari, the sole administrator of TSEG Area Development Council of Sanfara State, who was abducted by armed bandits earlier this year, has been killed. Politics Nigeria learned that Yanwari was killed while trying to escape from the armed bandits camp 
along Ben Inquiry in Kaduna State. The late LCDA boy spent three months in captivity. Recall that Yawari was abducted alongside several others along Funtua T Safe Highway in March while returning from Dandume, a local government area council in Kaduna State. The kidnapper called and asked his family to pay 20 million naira ransom. Armed gangs of men knowingly locally as bandits have killed and kidnapped 100 that calls Northwest Nigeria over the past two years, typically operating from remote forests. Leader of Okwuku Vigilante Group in Duduku Fia local government area of Anambra State. Mr. Kashi Ilo Digwe, who was kidnapped recently, has reportedly paid 5 million naira to regain his freedom. It was gathered that Ilo Digwe was kidnapped by four government while returning home after a church service. President General of Ukwulu, Mr. Christopher Uba, who expressed worry over the growing security in the area, said that barely a few days after his release, Ilo Digwe was against attack by government. Added that he is currently receiving treatment in an undisclosed hospital. According to him, there have been an increase in cases of government and airmen attack in the community. He granted that the once peaceful community is gradually turning into a ghost town as the people are burning their own uh, saver wounds. And lastly, on sports. Agent Oscar Damiani has received that super eagle striker Victor Osime has improved massively under Napoli manager. The striker has been oddly influential on Napoli super preseason so far. In a chat with TMW Radio, Damiani stated that Spalletti has made the Nigerian international improve his game positively. The, map, the Napoli director must be acknowledged for having brought strong players without overpaying them and enhancing them also through the coach work. Osimhen has characterized that as we allow him to a protagonist for a long time, he is fast, moves a lot, and has a strong head. And that concludes the national news for this hour. But before we go, here's some of the major headlines once again. Buhari seeks strongest actions against killer. Gajabi Amila deceived us all to call off strife. TCN Workers Drag Project Coordinator to EFCC over alleged corruption. Abducted Safara LCDA was killed by bandits. Kidnapped a number of vigilante leader pays 5 million naira ransom to regain freedom. Attacked again. To join us on all our social media handles on Facebook as we are getting more with Alawiye at Devayo. Follow the page and share the page. And on Instagram as Bagadema underscore 22. Follow the page and share the page as well. And for the placement of your advert or event coverage, call the number showing on the screen. Thanks so much for always watching our news on VGI TV. I am Sanut Olakomi at GKD. Bye for now. Thank you.